All righty, welcome back for another episode of Two Plane Sports. Today does not suck, as Brandon likes to say. Uh, Oklahoma secures another commitment. The month of October is looking to be a great month for Oklahoma football, not only on the field, but also on the recruiting trail. After beating Texas, Oklahoma went on a bye and has picked up a commitment. Um, you know, obviously, this is not the first commitment in the month of October. You've got Daniel Akakunmi. Then you throw Michael Boganowski, um, Boganowski on the uh, on the team, and you add to an already talented safety room um, that Oklahoma's got. And obviously, you know Boganowski is kind of that hybrid uh, guy between the linebacker and safety. So we're going to talk about what he adds, what he brings. Uh, but before we do, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Apple, Spotify, and TikTok. Everything's, everything's linked in the description below. And uh, we go live every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Central. So be sure to tune in for that where we just hang out, talk college football, and talk OU football and and uh, and recruiting. So uh, be sure to join that. But with Michael Boganowski joining the fold, this seems to have been a long time coming. The 6'2", 205-pound linebacker safety hybrid out of Junction City, Kansas. Brent Venables goes back to his home state and secures another uh, talented player. Brandon, what do you think? Doesn't suck. Yeah, I mean, you, you just mentioned the size, the speed, the or the size and his, his measurements. They're, they're very good, 6'2", 205. But what he did last year, I mean, super impressive, dude. 123 tackles, four picks, sack. Uh, fumble recovery, force fumble, whatever. Uh, he threw a touchdown, ran a cut, ran a touchdown in. Uh, just, just a freaky athlete. But I think what you let off with is is the biggest thing. We talked about it a little bit on the live stream. Winning, man. Winning cures everything. Winning is the biggest recipe for for all these recruits. Everything. And I think the fact that Oklahoma keeps winning, and you're bringing these guys in late, it it just helps. And with Boganowski, like. Again, if you're going to play for a defense around the country that you're watching right now, Oklahoma's right up there with anybody as far as the way a defense is playing, the way he could potentially fit in this defense. He's a good good, uh, good height and weight for that uh, cheetah spot, you know, in a couple of years if, if it pans out that way. There's a lot of opportunity on this Oklahoma defense. The SEC moved the fact that the Sooners are building something. I think it, it all just bodes well for the, the – it played out well for the Sooners. Yeah, and you mentioned there at the end, I think Oklahoma probably leaned into the fact that he's got the possibility to play at three different positions. So he's not just limited to playing linebacker, or playing safety. If he were to come to OU, he's got those two options plus a cheetah position, which, as we all know at this point, is both of those positions combined. And depending on the depth, once he gets his opportunity to play, he might be a guy that would be a perfect fit at safe at at that cheetah spot because he is like he's listed as a linebacker on most recruiting platforms OU is recruiting him as a safety I don't think that's going to be uh where he ends up because the safety room is good has depth as long as they don't need him there he could come down and play linebacker because that's a spot where while there is depth from the guys ahead of him this class only has one in James and Nessa. So it could be a spot where he gets a little bit more opportunity or the Chia spot like we just mentioned. And he, like Brandon said, a very impressive athlete. It's going to be fun to see how OU uses him once he gets to campus. Because I believe at this point, most guys are going to be early in Raleigh's. So you would assume most of these guys, or not most, some of these guys will have an opportunity to play as true freshmen at Oklahoma. And this is a recruitment that Oklahoma ultimately won out, I believe, and I don't have any, you know, information on it. But from the outside looking in, it it, it appears Oklahoma won out because of the play on the field right now. And, you know, he has his family has those connections to K-State being from Junction City, Kansas, not far from Manhattan. It seemed a little bit of a, a of a hurdle for Oklahoma, and it took him a while. He was obviously torn. I mean, it wasn't a an easy slam dunk decision for him, like you know we would hope it to be. You know, because we're all a little biased in our you know on our love for OU, but Oklahoma won out because they are only giving up 14 points a game right now. They are the number eight rated defense as we sit right now, going into the UCF game. 
that they're they're playing they're a top 10 scoring defense right now granted i know that they played texas and they gave up 30 points i expect them to bounce back against ucf and, and play pretty well to finish the season and should be in this top 20 realm if you if you would have told me oklahoma would be top 10 and uh points given given up um halfway through the season i would have told you you're crazy i mean i i, I really like this team but I didn't think it would be quite the level that it's like. I think that's what Oklahoma's been able to benefit. And that, that 30 number against Texas is a little bit fabricated as well because that defense gave up 23. Uh, a, a block punt does not go on the Sooners' defense. Um, 23 to a Texas team that features, you could argue, the best receiver duo in the country, a very good running back, uh, a quarterback that's been what, year two or three now in the system. Um, a lot of people have them as the best team in the country. That's – Whatever, but to the twenty-three to that is is good, but yeah, I, I just think the fact that six and zero, the eighth best scoring defense. If you're if you're him, if you're Mike Wazowski and you're watching the games and you're watching Kansas State, who's always a sound team, you know what you're going to get out of Kansas State. They they are a sound football team, well coached, well disciplined. Um, and then you turn to an Oklahoma game because you're considering them too, and you're watching this team go six and zero. This team be the eighth best scoring defense in the country. Yeah, like, like you said, Rem. That wins recruitments, and I think in this case, again, we without any, we don't talk to the kid, we don't know him personally, but without any, you know, knowledge like that, I think you can just kind of put two and two together, and I think that it wins out here. And he joins a class now with Jaden Hardy, and you got Michael Patterson McDonald, and now you add Michael Bobanowski, Coach Brandon Hall. That's a pretty solid recruiting class. That's a lot of talent um, coming in in this 24 class. Yeah. He was a guy I was really excited about when Oklahoma hired him. And I didn't know he would be this good in recruiting. Figured he'd just be a good coach because his track record has shown he can coach well, but he is a guy that is slept on, on the recruiting front. I mean, just going back to last year was able to pull an upset over, I guess, Oregon and securing Peyton Bowen there at the end. And he's gotten really good players in the, both from the portal and Reggie Pearson, and in recruiting. Guy that doesn't get praised enough, I think, publicly in Brandon Hall. He doesn't, and between him and Valai, they're tearing it up. So, Addy Michael Boganowski does not suck. Um, talented player, someone that I wasn't really 100% sure that Oklahoma was going to get, but this is what you get with a staff that can actually close out in recruitments and can prove it on the field and knows what they're what they're doing so it's a it's a good day um do you guys have any other thoughts on michael boganowski don't be surprised if kansas state doesn't leave him alone i think kansas state will be here basically until he signs that piece of paper i i would tend to agree with you and um but if oklahoma continues to win like they should i don't think oklahoma has anything to really worry about i mean Unless Oklahoma just, you know, the season goes off the rails, which I do not anticipate. So, Can't Brandon. Texas. So, Michael B- Michael Boganowski, good addition to the class. Great day to be a Sooner. Great time to be a Sooner, really. Like, you, like, like we've been talking about, it's things are trending up in Norman. It's a great time to be a Sooner. Let's finish the class strong. Let's get Michael Bree. Let's get Eddie Pierre-Louis. That French pipeline, as if you watch the live Michael stream. Michael Bree. You talking about Grant Bree? Grant Bree. Sorry, Grant Bree. Yeah, Grant Bree. Grant Bree. Uh, Eddie Pierre-Louis. Michael Broganowski. Boganowski. God dang. Let's let's finish. Broganowski is a better name. Let's finish Bro. the class strong. So the individual challenge, obviously, in these as always. What is your thoughts on Michael Boganowski? Good, good, really good safety. I think he could he could, he could, do, he could do a lot of things in the Oklahoma defense, but also. Because I call him Mike Wazowski. Because how do you not? Um, I mean, that's it's so close to that. What's your favorite Mike or your favorite Monsters Inc. Co- or character? Man, you you butchered that. That was I, rough. that was bad. But it is what it is. Um, it, it, that's 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 real. What is your favorite Monsters Inc. character? I think mine is Mike Wazowski. Yeah, me too. I once wore him as a it's a costume in second grade. Went to school as Mike Wazowski. <laughs> that's funny that's good so made it this far be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on follow us on twitter instagram facebook apple spotify and tiktok everything's linked in the description below remember who's your favorite monsters inc characters brandon monsters inc character yeah and, and your 
thoughts on Michael Boganowski? Because, I mean, it is a football show first, but we yeah. like to have fun in the show. We're not all just football all the time. For sure. So be sure to tune in for the live streams, and we'll catch you guys next time.